Hello, I'm Bushra from QA Milestone and today we'll learn a pretty useful Cypress command called then. Then command allows us to work with the subject yielded from the previous command. Then command works the same way as native promises. Then commands could be used for a lot of different things like they're very helpful while debugging. Then when you would like to compare uh, before and after values and when working with aliases. And I know so far we haven't worked with aliases but we'll be learning about aliases in the next video. So for now just know that aliases can be used for sharing context and that then command is quite powerful. Enough talking, let's see it in action. So when we are here on our favorited article tab with all our favorite marked articles showing up, let's verify that the favorite count for the first article is 1. Let's create a new spec file. We'll copy the code from the previous script. This is also available on GitHub. You can find the link in the description below. So this is where we are unmarking our article as favorite. So just before clicking on it, here, let's verify the count. So we'll call our then command, dot then. This command takes callback function as an argument. And this callback function takes the subject yielded from the previous command as an argument. So FAV is the object that cy.get first will yield. Let's see what this actually is. So this is actually the heart icon. But what we need is the number. So we'll update our cy.get with this class. Now we'll have our desired object. Let's extract the text property from this now. And let's store this value in a variable. Now let's verify that the count is 1. That's it. But the only problem is our variable here would contain a string. So we need to convert it to a number. So we'll call parse in function. There you go. Let's run this now. And so our assertion passed and our next assertion failed because we were checking that no article should exist here after we have unmarked the first article. But that won't always be possible. 
so we should better be checking that the count of articles should be one less now. Now that you are aware of how to create variables and use then command, you can very well handle this. So here what we did was using then command, we were able to work with the object that this command returned. So we extracted its text property and then we made an assertion. So then command is very handy for such situations. I hope you enjoyed this lecture. In the next video, we'll learn about aliases which overcome a limitation of then command. Which is, say you have this object now, but you don't want to work with it right here. You would probably want to use it later in your script. So that is where you could use aliases. See you there.